exciting hour of fantastic prizes. The fabulous 60 minute prize is raised. Evelyn Brown, come on down. today. Do you want to win some prizes today? I guess we'd better get started. Here's the first item up for bids on our show. A new set of cookware. It's a handsome set of Lucas A cookware imported from France to pamper your gourmet recipes. Colorful, cast iron, assures even heat, non-stick cooking, cleans as easy as china. I'd like to have your bids in dollars because we round off our retail prices to the nearest dollar and I would like to have the first bid from Consuelo. $300. $300. Tara, what do you bid? $250. He bids $250. Now, Aaron. $175. $175 and here we are at Evelyn. $210. $210. The actual retail price is $315. Consuelo! Consuelo is going to play the day's first fighting game. Here we are. Consuelo, I want to welcome you to the stage. Isn't this exciting? Yes, really. I think I'm going to have a heart attack. No, don't have a heart attack. Don't have a heart attack. Instead, win that. Appliances for your kitchen. An electric kitchen which includes the big side-by-side three-door refrigerator freezer and the practical work-saving built-in dishwasher and a complete cooking center featuring a full-size microwave oven at the top and a self-cleaning oven below by Tappan. Also, a supply of Rath hams from the great Midwest. Natural country goodness, special occasion quality and flavor from Rath. A prize package worth $2,805. I want to give you that, Consuelo. I want to present you with that prize package, and I will have the opportunity of presenting you with that prize package if you hit that bullseye. Now, you will hit that bullseye if you pick out one of those products and buy between 5 and $6 worth of the product. Do you understand how to play the game? Yes, I do. John, tell her about the product, please. A pleasure, Bob. Scrunch, the scrubber sponge made tougher than a steel pad, scours without scratching even Teflon. Scrunch, new from Johnson Wax. Cream X, the macaroni in the famous green box, cooked up firm yet tender and just minutes the way everybody likes it. Potato toppers, exciting flavor, color texture for baked mashed boiled potatoes, just sprinkle and serve in your grocery produce section. Potato toppers. Dentine can bag chewing gum. While you're chewing, dentine is fresh as your breath as effectively as mouthwash. You can brush your breath with dentine. And you love Tootsie Pops. Do you love Tootsie Pop Drops? The hard candy with a Tootsie Roll center. Yes, we fill the hole with Tootsie Roll. Consuelo, which one of those products are you going to buy? The creamettes. Very well. How many creamettes do you need to have a total of five to six dollars? Five of them. Five creamettes. Each one is 87 cents. How much is five? 
$4.35. That was a pretty good shot. That hit right about there. I'm going to give you another shot. Forget the cream S for the moment. Choose one of the other products. The potato toppers. The potato toppers. How many of those do you need for $5 to $6? Dollars? 20 20 potato toppers. Each one is 59 cents. How much is 20? $11.80. Now, just a moment, ladies and gentlemen, you are moaning. But you do not realize that you are at uh, an historical a moment in, on, on Price is Right. Never have I had a contestant go as high as $11.80 before. History is being made and you're moaning. Now, Consuelo, you didn't even hit the target with that one. You went over $6. I'll give you another shot. With the scrunge, with the gum, or the candy. Which one do you want? The scrunch. How many of those do you need for $5 to $6? Five. She needs five scrunches. Each one is 69 cents. How much is five? $3.45. You hit it right there. Now... You may still win that uh, array of appliances. You know oh, that. I hope so. How could you still win? There has to be a lucky Billy Bobber in back of the one of those things. Has to be a lucky what? I call it a Dilly Bobber. A Dilly Bopper. Uh -huh. Where did you get that name Dilly Bopper? I only just picked it up. Did you make that name up? No, I've heard it before. Whoever's there, who's ever said Dilly Bopper? I don't recall. Well, now, you know what I think? We ought to change this from Bullseye to Dilly Bopper down here. We should, and the next time I have a contestant, I'll say, you get to play Consuelo's Dilly Bopper. That's what you get to do. Well, now, you can still win. If the hidden bullseye is here, you win. No, it's not there. Now, if the hidden bullseye is down here, let's see, you hit it with the macaroni, with the cremettes. If it's here, you still win. It's there! Game. We'll be back with another game after these words. Betty White, how can one woman appear on so many game shows? The only possible answer is that there are actually hundreds of Betty Whites. Sure, they all look and sound like the original Betty White, but they're actually high-tech Betty White robots. Perhaps you've noticed a strange twitch or a split-second mechanical error. Close friends say this is the only way you can tell them apart. So the next time you see Betty White on Game Show Network, look closely, because you shouldn't believe everything you see on TV. John, I want another player, please. All right, Bob, how about Ernest Davis? Well, come on down. You're the next contestant on the Rising Race. Hello, Ernest. Hi, Bob. Now, Ernest, you are a rather intellectual-appearing chap. What do you do? Looks are deceiving, I can see. No, you have a very, very uh, cultured voice, too. What do you do, Ernest? I'm a personnel consultant, Bob. Well, that is a job that requires a very good mind, isn't it? Well, sometimes, yes. Where, where do you do this, Ernest? In Long Beach, Bob. Uh-huh. Where are you from originally? Oklahoma. And uh, one other lady is from <laughs> Oklahoma in the audience. And are you interested in picking up a quick prize? Well, I can use some appliances, yes, sir. Well, now, <laughs> if I should bring out a fur coat, do you want to sit down, or do you want that, to continue? That would help my cause, yes. All right, let's Bring see what up. we have. Show us the next item up for bids on that turntable, please. A new stereo chair! A stereo thing to share about an unrealistic environment. You love the way it sounds, the music within an environment, undisturbed by outside interference, the stereo chamber on Ottoman by listening environment. Now, Ernest, I'm sorry it's not an appliance. Would you like to bid on it anyway? I'll take it. I'll take it. What do you bid on? I'll say $800. $800. Carol, give me your bid. $750. $750. Aaron? $850. $850. Evelyn? $890. $890. And the actual retail price is nine ninety five. Evelyn has dropped up those steps, Evelyn. Right up here to me. Hello there. Thank you very much. Now, Evelyn, where do you live? Uh, here, L.A. 
Los Angeles. You're in Los Angeles. Yes. The way you said that, I thought you lived right there for a minute. Yes. You live in Los Angeles, yes. and what do you do? I work for the VA. <laughs> do you? Yes. And you've seen our show. Yes. And you've seen some of the beautiful prizes we've given away. Yes. Look at one of the very nicest ones. A new car! Thank you. Comes equipped with accent stripes, steel belted radial white stripe tires, custom exterior groups, tinted glass, remote mirror, wire wheel cover, power brakes, deck lid release, and last roof. Okay, Bob? Evelyn, you saw Consuelo win the first game, didn't you? Yes. The Dilly Bopper game. Yes. Wouldn't you like to win the second game? Yes. You will if you do not get these three stripes. Okay. Stay away from those. Okay. Now, in the price of that car, there's a zero, mm -hmm. there's a two, there's a six, and there is a five. I want you to reach in there and pull out a number. Then I'm going to ask you to tell me where it goes in the price of the car. Okay. And if you're right, it lights up. You get that price lighted up. Before you get those three strikes, you win that car. Okay. Reach in there and let's get a number out of that bag. Evelyn! Oh, Evelyn! Strike one on Evelyn. Now, don't let that happen again. There are four numbers in there and only two strikes. Get one of the numbers now. Only two strikes left. Oh, Evelyn! Evelyn, now just a minute. Two strikes on you already. I tell you what, you want to quit right now and get the Dilly Bopper game back? No. Huh? No. You want to go ahead? Yes. All right, now get a number out of there. We want you to win that car. Evelyn? Good. Now, is that two, the first, second, third, or fourth number? Uh, the third, the third. That's the third number. No, it's not. Now, you remember that that's not the third number. You may draw it again. This time... She... Evelyn, I am so sorry that this happened to you, but I'll tell you what. You're coming back, aren't you? Yes. Why are you coming back? Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. That's it. Evelyn knows what she's doing. We'll play game number three, but first, let's have a look at this. Sir John, who cometh next? Oh, your highness, puts the Suzanne Pollard. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the prize of right. slowly for such a I'm, young lady. I'm gonna fall. Oh, you have high heels on. Is that it? The, the high like heels me. are in now, aren't they? Yeah. My wife uh, went out and bought some shoes with the high heels, and she hadn't been wearing them for uh, for a while, and she goes wobbling around uh, like Tom Mix, you know? Did you notice your friends back there, as your name was called? You thought they were interested in you. Instead, you know what they were doing? They were all looking at the monitor and waving at themselves. <laughs> a big bunch of hands back there. Where's that next item up for bid? I think it's right here. Let's see it, please. A new microwave oven. Whirlpool microwave oven with a solid state variable power control, digital timer, and temperature probe from the Whirlpool Corporation. Suzanne, I'm going to give you the first bid on that. $400 is her bid. Ernest, what do you say? I'll go, uh, 375 bucks. $375. It's up to you, Carol. 401 $401 and now Aaron? 325 She bids 325 <laughs> I tell you, though, little Suzanne, she understands the game. She bid 400 When Carol bid 401 she leaned across Aaron and stuck her tongue out at her there. The actual retail price of that prize is $470, and that prize is terrible. And now Suzanne is really upset. Now Suzanne has reason to be upset. Up oh, here you are, Carol. You may have lost a friend down there, but that's the way to play the game, you know. It's, you've got to take care of yourself when the price is right, don't you? Thank you. I do believe you have become a little nervous. Oh, it's just tired. You, you think you're going to be all right? <laughs> Would you want me to stop for a minute and let you lie down here? No. Huh? 
Well, Did you see the girl the day that she fainted on our show? <laughs> oh, it happened, yes. No. Now, that's not going to happen again, is it? No. You're going to be all right, aren't you? Yeah. Let me just Let me have you just stand up here now, nice and straight. Say, Bob, I'm going to be all right. <laughs> I don't think you are, Carol. Now, let, let me hear you say, I'm going to settle down, Bob. <laughs> I'm going to settle down, Bob. Okay, now I believe. Carol, look what we have for you. A chaise and ornament and a diner. First, the carefree dining group from Howell featuring a table with Hanson Burrow finish and richly upholstered chairs. A deep cushion covered, high styling and top quality. The carefree dining group from Howell. Second is a chaise and ornament. In a contemporary styling, both pieces are polyurethane filled and they crown wrapped. Camel colored white scotch fabric is 100% cotton and scotch guarded, Tom. I'm going to help you win both of those prizes in the clock game. I'm going to help you all I can. Now, first, I want you to bid on the dinette set and only the dinette set. Then you know how to play the game, don't you? I'll say higher or lower. Now, do it as quickly as you can, but wait to hear whether I say higher or lower. After you win the dinette set, we'll go after the other prize. You have 30 seconds in which to win both. Show everyone the prize of the dinette set, please. And audience, don't you try to help us now in any way. Carol, the clock will start with your first bid. Go. 600. Lower. 500. Higher. 550. Lower. 540. Lower. 530. Lower. 520. Lower. 510. Lower. 501, 2, 3, You got it. You got it. And I'll tell you, you are no longer nervous. You have the situation well in hand. I have never had a clock game player play it any better than that. You did it exactly right. You bracketed by the hundred, then you went by tens, and then you got it. Oh, Carol, you are... J I might as well just give you that next prize right now. You're going to win that. How much time do you have? Well, you have almost 22 seconds, 21 and a half seconds to win the Shays and the Ottomans. Now, let's show that prize, please. And just play it exactly as you did. You were perfect. Clock will start again with your first bid. Go. 800. Higher. 900. Lower. 950. Or er, 850. Higher. 860. Higher. 70. Higher. 80. Lower. Uh, 71, 2, 3, higher, 4, 5, higher, 6, higher, 7, higher. 8, 9. You got it. You got it. Very good. Very, very good. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Just a moment. I want to point out something else here. You know, not only did she play that game well, but when she did make that one mistake, you straightened yourself out immediately and went right back. You've won both the prizes. How do you feel now? <laughs> Are you? Well, then you just stay scared the rest of your life. You do good work when you're scared. We'll be back with the first showcase showdown of the day after this match. And here's Consuelo, who won the Dilly Bopper game. Here's Carol, who won the clock game. And here's Evelyn, who struck out in three strikes. She gets to spin the wheel first. Now, spin it hard, Evelyn. That's go all the way around at least once. And one of you who is nearest to $1 without being over will be in our showcase. Contestant who gets $1, of course, wins $1,000 and gets a bonus spin. You have 95 cents. You don't want to spin again. No. He oh. yeah, has 95 cents. Okay, Carol, if you do this as well as you did that clock game, I'll have a $1,000 bill for you. You have to beat 95 cents. There it is, real fast. Okay, you have 35 cents, spin it again. 35 cents, you have to beat 95 cents. Now, don't go over a dollar total or it's all over for you. 35 cents plus, hey, that's worth a thousand, no, well... You didn't win this, but you certainly did well in that clock game, and I hope you enjoy those prizes. Come on, Consuelo. Spin that wheel. You have to beat 95 cents. There we go. What's going to happen to Consuelo? How about 60 cents? Spin it again. Spin it again. We'll find out who was going to be in the showcase. 60 cents in their first spin. This is spin number two. Has to beat 95 cents. Not going to do it. Has 85. Consuelo, thank you. I have one contestant for the showcase. Name of Evan. We'll be back with more pricing games at the Depot. John, who's our next contestant? Bob, it's Tanisha Robinson.
Johnson! I love your shirt. Oh, thank you. Bob you Barker, see? number one MC. No. I beg your pardon? Kissy, yeah. kissy, kissy. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, but you have to win your way up there first. I, will. I, will. I don't get to kiss anyone down there. Okay. But up here, it's a different thing. I will. Thank you. Not you, Ernest. Don't get your hopes up. I'm talking to Tonita now. Right now, I want to show you the next item up for bids and the price is right. A new freezer. The famous Amana energy saving freezer engineered to save money on your electric bills and completely free of frost. Each shell forms its own fast freeze compartment that saves zero degree storage made only by Amana. Tonita, what do you bid on that? Five fifty. Five fifty is her bid. What's yours, Aaron? Five thirty-five. Five thirty-five. Suzanne. Uh, four seventy-five. Four hundred and seventy-five dollars, and it's Ernest's turn. Five fifty-one. Five fifty-one. He's trying it himself. Actual retail price five sixty. Ernest is worth. Come up here, and then the pounding. I am going to lead you back here to the big doors. Are you with me, Ernest? Come on, Ernest. Get back here. I'm not going to wait around here much longer, Ernest. You better get back here in a hurry. Take the place right over here and then show him what we have for him to win. A spinning piano and a flop-top game table. Oh, beautiful. First, the winner spinach in comparable beauty with unusually brilliant tone. Soft low silhouette and hand rub finish, everybody's favorite, a quality product of the Aeolian Corporation. Second is a blocked up game table. From Victory Games, the Johnny Bench family blocked up into four games in one. Nine hole golf course, pool table, a ping pong table, and croquet from Victory Games. <laughs> All right. Now, if you have that out, now show them how it turns. All right. These girls, I tell them how these things work, but can you, they do it right. There you go. Because Ernest was asking me what the table did, and that's what it does. You see, it's a billiard table on one side. Now, don't break it, girls. All right. Let's have the price out here. $1,500. Ernest, one of those two prizes is $1,500. Now, you tell us which one it is, and we'll give you both for the prize. I'll say the piano. You say the piano is $1,500. I say I hope you're right. If you are, we've had three winners out of four. Is he right? He's right. Ernest is right. How much is that for? Eleven ninety-five. You know you've won uh, almost twenty-seven hundred dollars worth of prizes. You did it very well. You bet. Girls, did you come out here, please? Girls, I want you to come out here beside me, if you will, please. Now, Janice, I am going to give you a chance to just express any thoughts that you've had recently. You can say anything you wish uh, to our audience here, to the folks at home. What do you want to say? Last one is this big Really? What does that mean? I'll tell you that stage. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to say? Um, <laughs> I don't see that. I thought it was all her. <laughs> <laughs> what do you wish to say? Um, <laughs> Thank you, Diane. What do you want to say, Holly? Hi, Mom. I know every day it's the same thing. Now, I've taken that line. What are you going to say now? Hi, Dad. <laughs> I don't... There's more prices right coming up. Stay tuned to all Price and Game. The fabulous showcase is coming up on the second half of The Price is Right. John, I do believe that it is time for a very important announcement. And you are right, Bob Barker. Where is Regina Spangler? Come on, John. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. right audiences are getting worse all the time not just waving that one she stood up hi mom she's saying hello to her mother someplace well here we are with four in a row and here we are with the next item up for bids a handy sewing machine <laughs> it's the brother face center 
the free arm sewing machine, built in automatic cans to stretch zigzag, blind satin, and embroidery stitches, opens with a touch of a finger from a flatbed to a free arm from brother. Regina, I await your bid on that sewing machine. What do you bid? $600. Six hundred dollars. Sonita? Uh four hundred and twenty-five dollars. Four hundred and twenty-five. Aaron, it's your bid. Five sixty-five. She bids five sixty-five. What do you bid, Suzanne? Um four hundred. Four hundred dollars each. You've all overbid. The lowest bid is four hundred dollars. May we erase these bids, please? Go lower than four hundred, Regina. Three ninety. Three ninety. Sonita? 350. 350. Aaron. 365. 365. And back to 350. Suzanne. 350. 350 dollars is Tonita's bid, and I will not allow you to bid 350. She just bid that. Oh. Yes. There's only oh, one 350. What are they? 390, 350, 365. There are a lot of other bids. Uh, three, 345. That's fine. 345. <laughs> and you're all overbid again. Now the lowest bid is 345. Erase the bids, please. Lower than 345, Regina. 310. How much? 310. 310. Tonita? 315. 315. Aaron? 320. 320. Suzanne? Uh, 275. 275. And the actual retail price of the sewing machine is 330, and you have a walk. Come up here beside me, Aaron. I want to show you four very interesting blue windows. Beside each of them, there is a prize. If you win the prize beside the window in which it will eventually say bonus, you win the bonus prize. And today, this is the bonus prize. A new bedroom group. Furniture, a king size platform chest front bed, hardwood overlays and hand laid butcher block style rosewood, and six aromatic cedar line drawers and trunk. Includes matching closet armoire from Bales Furniture. And for that decorated touch, this bed spread. The manner and design is this beautiful custom designed and fitted velvet bed spread with filler shams, features hand style quality with luxurious Codel fill. The manner and designer, a bonus worth. One thousand six hundred and forty-six dollars. Aaron, the first prize up here on the bonus game board is a dictionary. You can see it right there. Now listen. World Book Encyclopedia, two-volume dictionary containing twenty-four hundred pages, three thousand illustrations, and more than two hundred and twenty-five thousand entries. Aaron, do you see that price is seventy-six dollars? Mm -hmm. Don't you believe it? That's wrong. Is the right price higher or lower? You believe that it is lower? Let's see. You're right. You have one match. That's yours. Now we have towels, and John, let's hear about those. Right. Four sets of lush, plush, thirsty St. Mary's towels can add an eye full of color excitement to any bath. They are not $25. The right price, higher or lower? Higher. Higher is her answer, and her answer is right again. You have won the towel, then. On we go to prize number three, which is cosmetic. John, if you please. Be everything you can be with Mary Kay Cosmetics. Skin care, glamour cosmetics presented to you in your home by trained beauty consultants from Mary Kay Cosmetics. Are the cosmetics higher or lower than $40? I'm going to say higher. You're going to say higher, and I'm going to say you're right again. They are $50. You have been perfect thus far. One more prize on the board. A shampooer. John? A blue luster shampooer and blue luster plus carpet shampoo with grease cutters and brightness to remove ground in dirt and grime. Now, is the shampooer higher or lower than $78? I'm going to say higher. Higher. If she's right, of course she wins the bonus prize because she has every window. She said higher. Oh, my. Now. Aaron, this worries me. Do you suppose that bonus could be down no. there? No. Absolutely not. Light up the bonus. No, it's not right there. You win. You bet. Thank you, Aaron. We are having a good day. We have had four winners out of five games to play game number six. After these words.
John, will you fetch me another player, please? Will do, Bob. Where is Branislaw Balsis? Well, come on down. You know, the next is tested on a tiny ray. Branislaw. How do you do, Brownislow? Where's your home? Mission Viejo. And what do you do, Brownislow? I'm a counselor and a football coach, believe it or not. You are! Well, that must be a very... Junior All-American. I beg your pardon? Junior All-American. That's the little boys. Yes, and you coach the little boys in the Junior yes. All-American League. Right. It's a pleasure to have you with us today, Thank Coach. You. Look at the next item up for bids in our show. It's a brass coach rack. <laughs> Wesley Allen, a road coat rack with three legs. The family heirloom. First day of ownership. Action from Jill Brass. Finally detailed hand craftsmanship. The finish requires no polishing from Wesley Allen. And I'm going to give the old coach the first bid on that. 450. He bids $450. Suzanne, give me your bid. Uh, $200. $200 for Suzanne uh, Regina. $201. $201. Sonita, give me your bid. What was this, Jen? Four fifty. Uh, two o two. Two o two. Interesting. Actual retail price two sixty five. Tony, come up here to me. You bet. I got my kiss now. You remember I told you I liked that shirt, yes. Bob Barker, yes. number one yes. M M C. I, what? I love you. Will you? Sweet thing, Tonita, since you and I are in love, no. I should like to give you these. Two new cars! <laughs> the Ford Pinto with new design for a complete small car, four-cylinder engine for better fuel efficiency, and a long list of standard features. The Pinto from Ford. Okay, Bob? Now, we are going to play It's Optional. Right. The options are automatic transmission, heavy-duty battery, air conditioning, power steering, power brakes, AM-FM stereo radio, interior decorator package, interior protection group, light group, and convenience group. Those are important to you. Oh. Because using those, I want you to increase the price of this lower-priced car, which is three thousand nine seventy-five, to five thousand fifteen, or within one hundred dollars of that, without going over. You understand? Yes. You do that, and do you know what? We'll give you both of those cars. Uh -huh. Now you can use as many as four options here, but no more. At the moment, the difference between the prices of the two cars is $1,040. Okay? All right. Now, what do you want to buy to begin increasing the lower-priced car by as much as $1,040, but no more? Power steering. Power steering is what she wants. Will you please move that car, the price of the power steering? There it goes. I don't know why they always laugh at the engine on that car. Okay, how much is that? That's $140. Now, you must increase it by as much as $1,040, but no more. Air conditioning. Air conditioning it is. Move that car, the price of the air conditioning, please. There it goes on down there. It's up to $300, $350, $400. Hey, you're doing all right. You're five hundred dollars. That's fine. Five fifty. Clear down to six hundred. That was a good buy. Stopped right there. How much is the air conditioning? The air conditioning is four hundred and eighty-five dollars. Okay. You have used two of the four options that you may use, and you are four hundred and fifteen dollars away from one thousand forty. Now, of course, you win if you get within one hundred dollars. You understand that? So three hundred and fifteen is enough to win. Automatic transmission. Automatic transmission. Will you move that car, the price of the automatic transmission, please? Eight hundred. That's all right. You're fine. Nine hundred. That's still all right. Nine. Okay. How much is the automatic transmission? Three hundred and five dollars. Now, let me tell you what the situation is here, Tonita. Let me help you for just a moment. You've used three options. Uh -huh. You can use four and no more, so you can only make one more purchase. Uh -huh. You are now only one hundred and ten dollars away from the price of the higher price car. 
But now, you win if you get within $100. So all you need to spend is $10. But don't spend more than $110. What is the convenience group? The convenience group? You know, I don't really know. Let's find out. Just a moment, audience. She's asked me a question that I don't really know. She wants to know, what is the convenience group? Does anyone over at the desk know? We're finding out what a convenience group is. <laughs> uh, I, I really don't know. Is there a car dealer in the audience? Maybe he knows. Fancy seating, fancy things like that, fancy dashboard. Now, you don't need to spend more than $10. Remember that. Give me the battery. The battery. All right, ladies and gentlemen, she's bought the heavy-duty battery. Move that car, the price of that battery, please. Now, watch it go. Move it, the price of the heavy-duty battery. Oh, how much did it move? Let's see. What's the difference now? I have to look. You win. You win. Sure, it moved twenty dollars. But now wait a minute. Over here, it doesn't look as if she has won, but she has won. She has won. Let me, let me, let me just show. The viewer might be confused because that this uh, car should be up within here to win. But we are right. She does win. This car is wrong. I'm going to have a long talk with the guy back there running that car. She is a winner. You win both cars. Yes. Congratulations. Now we're ready to spin the big wheel after these ones. Aaron, spin that wheel for us. Get a dollar, you win a thousand dollars. Get a bonus spin for as much as ten thousand more. Contestant nearest to one dollar without going over is in the showcase. Aaron has. 20 cents. You want to spin again? Do it. Do it. Do it. 20 cents, and we are going to add what she gets in this spin to that 20 cents. That will be her score in the second showcase showdown on today's show. 20 cents plus. 50 is okay. Take your place over there. Take your place at the wheel, Ernest, and spin it. Got to be 70 cents now. She got 70 cents total. And here is one of the mightier spins of the week. Got to beat 70 cents, and in his first spin he has, how about 85? You did it. You don't want to spin again, do you? Over you go, over you go to that wheel, Tonita, and spin it. You have to beat 85 cents. Spin, Tonita. Tonita has to beat 85 cents. Will Tonita do it with this first spin? No, not in the first spin. You're going to spin again. 20, spin it again. 20 cents, spin it again. Got to be 85 cents, and she has 20 cents. And to that 20 cents, we're about to add. Oh, you don't want a dollar now. No. Not enough. Okay, I'm happy for you. You won some nice prizes. You're going to be in the showcase. We're going to be back after this. Top winner, Ernest. Runner-up, Evelyn. And here's the first showcase. Your showcase features prizes that you can find in your backyard. A well equipped backyard without this new badminton set from Spalding. A quality court 500 series set includes four steel shaft rackets, shuttlecocks, net enamel poles, and ground stakes. Loads of fun in the sun from Spalding. Or you can watch the backyard festivities from the comfort of this new outdoor furniture. California Country Redwood Furniture for Outdoor Leisure Living. Featuring contemporary lines, concealed hardware, and weather-resistant climate guard cushions from Hancock. And try cooking up a storm on this new barbecue. Regency Amber Light's finest gas grill makes outdoor cooking a year-round pleasure. Broiled, smoked, roast, fry, barbecue, slow cook, even make a cake on the Regency Grill from Amber Light. But to complete the picture of backyard fun, why not jump into this new pool? From the Muskin Corporation, it's 15 foot above the ground aluminum pool, complete with filter, maintenance kit and skimmer, the Doral pool from Muskin. And if it's too hot to sleep in the house, you can sleep overnight in your backyard in this new trailer! The Road Ranger by Kit, 17 and a half 
six-foot self-contained travel trailer sleep six with refrigerator, stove, bathroom, and shower. Fresh water tank and two holding tanks built with the camping family in mind, the Road Ranger from Kiss. And this showcase could wind up in your backyard if the price is right. Ernest, you want to bid or pass? I think I'll pass. Yeah. You're going to pass this to Evelyn. Now, Evelyn, this is a good showcase. What do you bid on? A thousand eight hundred. One thousand eight hundred dollars. Yeah. One thousand. No, no, can I say this? <laughs> yeah, all right. What? Um. Um. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Eight. A thousand eight hundred. One thousand eight hundred dollars is her bid on that showcase. And Ernest, this is your showcase. Your showcase begins with this thirty-five millimeter camera. Oh, beautiful. Rolly's SL 35mm single lens reflex socket, German engineering, superb lenses, and Rolly 100 XL C stroke combined. Easy to use, 35mm optic fine photo equipment by Rolly. And you're going to have lots of fun with this camera because we're going to give you two tickets to Disney World in Orlando, Florida. What? We'll fly two of your round trip air coach from Los Angeles to Florida for a six night stay at the Holiday Inn in Kissimmee, Florida. Located near such major attractions as Walt Disney World theme park, SeaWorld, Kennedy Space Center, and Gatorland, all near Holiday Inn in Kissimmee. Next, we have two tickets to Sea Life Park, and where is Sea Life Park located? In Hawaii! Oh, beautiful. We'll fly to the round trip air coach from Los Angeles to Hawaii for a six-night stay at the best Lexington the City Beach Hotel. Sixteen stories of elegant Polynesian-style rooms and suites. Overlooking famous Waikiki Beach from Best Western Pacific Beach Hotel in Honolulu, Hawaii. But that's not all, because here we have two tickets to Tivoli Gardens. And you'll find this amusement park in Copenhagen. For a six-night stay at a lovely modern hotel in the heart of Copenhagen. You'll enjoy a luxurious room with balcony and charming Danish atmosphere, and you'll be close to Copenhagen's major attractions, shops, and harbor. And finally, one of our favorite little parks is Ostia Park, located in Rome! From Copenhagen, it's off to Rome, Italy, for a six-night stay at the Marini Strand Hotel. You'll enjoy fine accommodations, great atmosphere, and charming Italian service at the Marini Strand Hotel, located near Rome's Trevi Fountain and the Spanish Steps. And this showcase, dedicated to amusement parks around the world, can be yours if the prize is right. What do you did, Ernest? I'll say $7,000, Bob. $7,000. That's his bid. We'll be right back. Evelyn bid $1,800 on her showcase, actual retail price $6,438 for a difference of $4,638. Ernest bid $7,000, actual retail price $5,600. You win, Evelyn. Speaking for the prize is right. A Mark Cookson Bill Trotman production. Please stay tuned for search to the box.